fine, I don't care. Oh wow, 256, not too bad. Nice. This is going to be a red split. That's a bummer. This is going to be a really red split. I could have made it. Oh well. 
I didn't lose the cycle, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that fight went okay. We didn't get the mute tower skip though, so we lost tons of time. It's gonna be like plus 15, I think. Uh, it's not a glitch. It's an Easter egg. So if you don't use any heart vending machines, and you never talk to the save guy, and you go to that spot before you talk to the uh, to the the queen, that person is hiding behind the bushes. His name is the Debug Merchant. He has two of the most powerful items in the game. They're in-game equipment that you can buy normally, and those were the expensive pieces that he had. He also has a set of armor called Debug Armor, which among other things has the property of uh, being able to arbitrarily set Peppy's level, which is going to matter later on. Like, it's a time save because leveling Peppy up is slow, but on top of that he can bring Peppy back to life. Um, spoilers, Peppy dies a couple times. But, um... But it also has the, the defensive um, stats of the legendary armor, which is why now I have 15 hearts. Oh yeah, and every time that you talk to him, he gives you... 9,999 gold. I guess that also matters.
Yo, Panzer Dave. Thank you for the host, and thank you for the good luck. How are you doing tonight? How is your stream? You're also running Ultimate 6. I saw um, Squibbins playing that as well. Glad to hear that you're having fun with it. It's bad movement. Good jump. It's definitely the right spot to jump. Oh no. I didn't know that you're playing on emulator. My condolences. I have a really hard time playing on emulator. I think people who are good at playing games on emulator are really impressive. I am both impressed and, uh, and, yeah, sorry that you have to deal with that, because emulation's tough. It's one of those things where it's like, I know academically it's only a few frames of lag, but those few frames of lag really, really mess with me. No, that was great. I, I wanted to waste an extra cycle there. Perfect. Perfect movement. Exactly what I hoped for. I'm gonna get that sooner or later. I'm just gonna get it. I don't really need it, but... Yeah, of course it could be worse. Oh wow, I didn't know that, that Squibbins is running the TAS route. I don't know anything about Ultima 6 running.
here. Let's not... Huh. Great. What terrible gameplay. You would think that it's like almost 2 a.m. or something. That was a really good RNG hallway. It doesn't make up for how badly I've been playing, but it was really good. Not even a little bit fair, but whatever.
yeah, yeah, I've been thinking on that. So for my $5 emote slot, I'm going to be throwing the, um... That wasn't terrible. I'm going to be throwing the, um... The Peppy uh, tilting his head at you. I'm going to have that made into an emote. A bunch of people have wanted an I'm mad emote, since that's apparently a thing that I say and, and I never actually mean it. Um... So I think that's going to be a $10 slot. And then I don't know what the, what the last slot's going to be. Honestly, I feel like the $25 slot isn't going to be used very much, so... Yeah, I thought that would make a good 5 tier. You know, people, people say that nobody subs for emotes, but I don't think that's true. I think people sub for emotes. And I think that's a good emote that'll, that'll make some people think, eh, maybe it's maybe it's worth subbing. Matt with the 45 viewer host. <laughs> CT, don't worry. I I will I will assume that you are both raiding and a regular in this stream. So Matt, did you uh, do you update your world record? to hear that you played really well. I'm I'm sorry to hear that you didn't you didn't achieve your goal. It's coming. You're getting super consistent, dude. Yeah, dying in the middle of a load screen sounds like a, a pretty bad way to die if I'm being honest. So everybody who's just joining, we're about to go for a trick called Bucket Skip. It's super inconsistent whether or not... And we got it. So that trick is super inconsistent whether or not Peppy, your, your cute little double jump with wings, um, will even be in the right spot for you to be able to do it. And then on top of that, it's... Uh, the, the infinite jump that I was doing there is a three-frame window each time that I jump. And it's uh, 
it's four button inputs to uh, to do each one. Although two of those button inputs are just held down. But it's a humongous pain in the ass on a Genesis controller. But we got it. It saves a little bit over a minute in this dungeon, so... It's pretty good to get it. Yeah, 8 bit derp. Um, nice, we got that. It saves like two seconds. There seem to be two camps of people people who enjoy Magic the Gathering and people who enjoy Hearthstone. And the. Uh, it seems to be rather rare to encounter somebody who enjoys both. was a little time loss, but that time loss was much better than getting hit by one of these electric things. They send you back to the start of the room, which is super great. Yo, we got the glitch. Nice. We never slowed down in that segment. That, that cut it a little bit closer than I should have. Oh, that's... 
<laughs> this was a really bad fight. Oh, but the second phase was fucking amazing. Thank you. 
it's fine. Yeah, Matchbox, Matt. I really, really love the, uh, the music in this game. Didn't want that heart. That was five seconds that I didn't need to lose.
doing really poorly in this in this pyramid. Interesting that you say that. I mean, heavy use of ethan synthesis is exactly what I think of when I think of Genesis music, so... I feel like this is quintessential Genesis music. But, to your point, the Turbo Graphics also used an FM synthesis chip, I believe. I can see where you're coming from with that. Um, so this was later in the Genesis life. This was pretty late in it, in fact. Um, and also, I mean, there are just some publishers that were known to take better advantage of the, the audio hardware. There was a lot of bad music, and it wasn't the fault of the Genesis' sound chip. It's fair. was a bummer pyramid. Apparently it was a gold. Go. I swear to god I hit the jump button, but according to the game, I did not. I mean, this still isn't world record pace, but this is going to be a really good PB if, if I keep it up. What amazing luck with the uh, the position of the saw blades. It's fine.
didn't want you to go that way. Please? There we go. Hey, Tenebrae, how's it going? Yeah, all the animations in this game are just amazing. I really don't have any other way to describe them. Well, that went better than I could have asked. Yo, Fims, thank you very, very much for the good luck. Um, we are we are on pace right now, so you're here just in time either for something really cool or for heartbreak. We'll see. Which do you think it'll be? Vote now on your phones. If you know nothing about this run, you're here at just the right time. The run gets very weird in about 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes. Is that right? Yes. Cool. Good positioning.
Oh, that was bad RNG. Come on down. Please drop. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That wasted like 10-15 seconds. That's the worst RNG. So we're supposed to go and do like a really hard dungeon right now, which um, I don't like things that are difficult, so. Instead I'm just going to use my debug armor to resurrect Peppy. So this takes us to the back way to get into the castle. And presently there's a guard blocking the castle. We can't get into it. Um, and due to that, there there is no intermediate scene between when Peppy dies um, and when we uh, just jump away. That was the good manipulation. Anyway, yeah, so... We just wrong warped to the uh, to the next scene, which is where we find out that Peppy is in fact not dead. Spoilers, I guess. See, he's alive. Also, imagine, in 2017, Matchbox Matt not being modded in your chat. <laughs> Look, say what you want, but Peppy is definitely a character's. So we lost about probably 30 seconds failing that wrong warp once, which is a bummer, but we're still on PB pace. I always forget that you have to go left first. Also, that was really bad. me leave. Oh, I hate that room. I'm really bad at that room.
this is a really bad underground cave so far. God. That was not an okay fight. Whether the ostrich lays an egg early is RNG. So. Not too much that you can do, unfortunately. And that's this and the room after this is why we res uh, resurrect Peppy, otherwise we wouldn't care. My Twitter bio definitely does not specify whether or not I'm a mod in any chats. Oh my gosh, please die. No, don't freeze me! Fuck. That's bad RNG. Two more hits. There we go. Nice. A pretty okay run. Fear Incarnate Split sucked. Didn't get the Mute Tower skip. Sucked. Movement was pretty bad in Handera Volcano. Movement was pretty bad throughout a lot of Ice Pyramid. So yeah, this was... I mean, we PB. <laughs> Could have done better. Would have been really nice to do better, but I did I did better than I have ever dude before. Yeah, sub one oh five. My sum of best is getting down close to uh, world record range, which is good. I, I did it. I did it. I did do the 
I did do the thing. No, not dude. Do. D. D. O. Apostrophe D. Because it is. It's 2 30, so I feel like that's appropriate English at, at this point. Ooh, or yeah, we could mean dude like, like Prinny's say. But I don't really want to also be made of explosives, so probably not. We did done do it. It's, it's what happened. We did the thing. No, definitely not Mountain Dew. We did not do the Dew. That's definitely not what I was talking about. Under no circumstances was that was that my meaning. I I did not do the do. I drank Pepsi. It's cola. That's a very different thing. It it actually tastes like not terrible. I'm aware that Mountain Dew is owned by PepsiCo. That doesn't make it a good beverage. I'm drinking Pepsi flavor Mountain Dew. I don't think that's how it works, but I don't have the data to refute that. No, I don't. I don't think West One is going to rebrand to use my uh, my surname instead of West if, if I world record all their games. Besides, um, I'm still I'm still three minutes off from world record in this game, and my sum of best is still two minutes and short change off of world record. So I'm improving, but that's not the same as as being in in range for, for reasonably attacking the world record. Um, a lot of it is movement. Cyclone's world record is amazing. His movement is really good. And then some of it is just, I don't, I don't think that we're using different strats, but he's way more, I mean, I can't say that he's more consistent. His one world record that I've, that I've been watching uh, is definitely more consistent. Every time that I play it, he plays the exact same way. But, uh, but I'm just, I'm not consistent with the strats. Also, I'm really bad at the Sphinx. <laughs> because it's Japanese and he's playing in English. Which is really, it, that's even worse. Because the Japanese text is substantially faster. But during the Sphinx, uh, English text has a minor advantage for people who barely understand any kanji at all. No, I'm not going to pronounce my name. That's that's my game. People have to figure out how to pronounce my surname. And then I'll tell them that they were wrong and I'll tell them how to pronounce it. But until they attempt, it's not going to happen. Well, I think that that's probably going to be it for tonight. Um, thank you all for hanging out. This has been a blast. It was a shorter stream and I started really late. But... But we still got a PB out of it, which is kind of cool. Um, thank you to everybody who, who donated to Extra Life tonight. Um, I'm super stoked that that the, uh, the Extra Life alerting is finally working. Um, that's That was worth spending my day working on. Um, Soon I'm, I, I'm going to continue working on it, and we're going to have uh, alerts for people who do subscriptions and bit cheering and all that stuff. But the one thing that doesn't have any sort of, uh, 
of alerting presently was was extra life and I wanted to fix that so I'm really really uh 8-bit derp you're closer than most people but no <laughs> yeah Fjellis um it's it's not a it's not a surname that that I expect uh Finns to be able to pronounce uh, especially just looking at it but that's okay I I butcher literally every uh, Finnish phoneme that I touch, so I feel like like you've probably got you've got one up on me um, because your English is quite good. Uh, cult that would be correct if I lived in Germany, um, but I don't. So no, no, it is it is in no way uh, a reasonable pronunciation for for the way that my surname is spelled. I'll just put it that way. But yeah, once again, thank you everybody who cheered, who donated, um, who subscribed. Holy shit, we're at we're at ten subs. That's that's super cool. So, I mean, that's already you know twenty five dollars a month. That's just going to be going straight to Extra Life Charity, which is really really good. But um. But yeah, thank you all for hanging out tonight and for being here while I, I managed to play a game slightly faster than I've ever played it before. 